Yo guys, welcome back to a new PCGO video. Today, guys, we're taking a look at an expanded Lost March deck. Yes, Lost March in 2021. How will it play for us today? We're going to find out. Lost March is kind of like the baby brother of the Mad Party Night March decks. Like, Night March is good. Mad Party is really good. Lost March is a little bit weirder because the Pokemon go in the Lost Zone instead of the discard pile. There's no way to put them in the Lost Zone with, like, a compressor. The only way to do it is to use Skip Bloom's Full Path to Sky if you evolve it on your hop pip you can search check for a jump up and then you can put this pokemon all cards attached to it in lost zone meaning you go skip loom into hop pip you can put the hop pip and the skip loom in the lost zone providing an extra 40 damage and you get the jump up and play for free without having to use rare candy or anything and trumpy can put in the lost zone too if it's in your hand you can just throw in the lost zone you can look at the top card of your opponent's deck reveal it and if it's a supporter card you put that in the lost zone too which is actually pretty cool especially in expanded where a lot of people play a lot of one of supporters that can actually be kind of cool and that's kind of how we're making it work. Lost March does have one good typing, and that is Fairy. Of course, Dragon and Expand is very good. Necrozma, Tina Chomp, and ADP can all go down to a Cottony, which is hilarious. A 40 HP Pokemon can take out, literally can take out the creation of existence. Think about that for a sec. So before we get the video, of course, show to the sponsor, Car Cabin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PC Geo pack codes, get them over at Car Cabin. Car Cabin sells codes online for the cheapest. So if you guys are going to pick up any set codes, like Chillin Rain, Battle Style, Storm Shield Base Set, Vivid Voltage, Rebel Clash. Get them all over our Car Cabin. If you're looking for any promo DX or V codes or any sleeve codes, get them all over our Car Cabin. And of course, guys, if you do get any codes over at Car Cabin at the checkout, you can use my discount code, code LDF, for a 5% discount on your order to help the channel, help yourself out, and help our Car Cabin. So shout out Car Cabin, check them out. Use code LDF if you get any codes over there. Now, let's take a look at the expanded Lost March list. Now, again, this deck is pretty decent still i think it does have okay typing the natu is kind of decent too mewtwo and mew is very popular and expanded urshifu vmax might start popping up and expanded too so we have that for that too um and there might be a few other pokemon weak to psychic jump bluffs grass typing is a little weird i don't can't really think of anything that's weak to grass off the top of my head uh, maybe Moltres v but that's about it yeah i can't think of any grass weak pokemon but the fairy type is honestly just insane because mad party and night march they don't have a fairy type lost marsh does but Lost March's damage is a little more awkward. Now, I've seen some lists of Lost March before, back in Standard, not in Expanded. They use, like, an Amolga Nuzzle Lost Blender engine. Unfortunately, because Expanded, there is a massive card pool, and there's so many things we have to play in Expanded. There's just not enough room to really fit all of that in one deck. Um, that's what I'm rocking with. We are playing four level ball. We got a net ball, three comms. Comm is really good. If you have a jump off in your hand, you can comm the jump off in the deck, and then skip plume the jump off into play, because the jump off goes in your deck. Comm is important. I want to play four. Uh, we got two... Quick balls, one Dows Machine. Uh, Dows Machine, way better than Comp Search, in my opinion, in this deck, especially to find your balls to make sure you're putting Lost from Archers in the discard pile, or Lost Zone, sorry. Got a Mime in the deck. First couple games I didn't play it, but I threw it in because Bench Protection is very good in this deck. We got Stretcher, of course, just your simple expanded stuff. But yeah, let's try out Lost March in 2021 and hopefully win a few games with it. I don't know. We'll see how it does. Into our first match. Trying to say fire deck, it looks like. So we might go first here, which we kind of want to do because we want to make sure we go hop it, hop it, and then just, you know, jump off. Nice. We do go first. So we're going to. Hopefully not donk me. It's the only thing I'm worried about, but see what happens. And there's a mulligan. So we'll see. We both mulligan, though. So we get to take a peek at what we're both playing. Uh, oh, we start with hop up and Lele. Well, I thought we'd have a Tapu Lele. They're playing a Leonzard deck, it looks like. Sure thing, buddy. You do you. Yeah, we'll open with Lele. It's not ideal, but I mean, we can attack with it. We got triple hop pip too. Oh, quad hop pip. Yo, take a chill pill. Well, let's just... Nice. We got every... Yeah, we're going quad hop pip. 100%. We're going quad hop pip. I don't care, bro. We're going quad hop pip. Insane start. Now, well, the only problem is we could draw a jump bluff off of our Juniper here. And then we can't... Well, we can draw a calm. Because we can't, we can't put jump bluff in play if it's in our hand. Dude, they do. Running flames. No, no welder. So Lele is safe. And we could just put some pressure on them in energy drive. Especially if they go Victini VMAX, we might have to do that. They bench like Grimer. Ooh, they could play a Lol and Muck. We'll get rid of some of my VS Seekers and stuff. Brass energy. We'll have to lose that. We can't put on it. If we put the energy on the hop if it goes in the lost zone. Okay, that's fine. We do the jump pluff so we can calm for skip bloom. I do want to start doing Trumby, especially if we can maybe dip some welders into the lost zone. That'd be pretty good. Or even goose my boss or something. Here we go. Floral path to the sky. We could uh, actually go in with the jump up this turn if I want. I do just like going with Tapu Lele, though. They can't KO it, I'm pretty sure. Well, 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure Lele's safe. I don't even want to attach because they could just kill me with a boss. I'm gonna go muscle band and just energy drive. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm gonna hold off on attack attaching because they can go like boss spreading flame energy burst KO. Jump up is weak to lightning, not fire. So they can't knock me out with energy burst if I don't attach to jump fluff. So we'll just let him attack my tapu lele. Sure. That's the that's very anti-synergistic, because now they don't even two-shot my lele. Well, when in Rome. Okay, here we go. Juniper time. Let's try to get some drum beaks. Nope. Okay, that's not terrible though. We can go do this. For skip bloom. Little dowsy machine. For the Pokecom. Do this. Trumby. We can't do uh we can't do skip bloom because we prize our other jump fluff, so we can't put a, th a fourth one in place. We're gonna wait. Trumby, here we go. Supporter. Yeah, let's go. Like I said, I want to hit a welder and we hit a welder. You'll love to see it. Well, this Victini is pretty much getting cooked this turn, obviously, but you know, this is good. We're gonna try to build a more loss zone Pokemon. The cool thing about loss zone too is there's no really way to counter it. My opponent can't like play any like shenanigans, you know. Yeah, just keep doing Trumbeak. They can't play, uh, like, they can't do any, like, Spiritomb Oracorio. Oh my god, another supporter? They have no, like, Oracorio, Spiritomb shenanigans, or Karen. Let's just go knock out. And if we get the other, uh, probably should put the Skipum in play. If we get the other, um, jump off the prizes here, we can get another jump off in play, potentially. Which is pretty cool. We do. There we go. We can put Skipum in play now. All right, that was a really good turn. We hit two supporters in the last one, one of them being Welder, and they just collect, and we just win the game here. I mean, mind you, my point wasn't playing the greatest of decks, technically, but I don't care, bro. We'll take the win. Let's go. Jump Luff. Lost March, bro. 2021 Lost March is still good. Kind of. Sort of. Get a present. Yo. Pack. 50 coins. Sure. Okay. Get into the match. We might get Rapid Strike Urshifu, which, again, we don't play the Mr. Mime. That could get awkward. We have Natu, though. Natu's going to be good. We get a Crobat start, though. Not ideal. Not very good. We do have uh, your boy Hoppip, though. Oh, they're playing Tina Jump. Oh, but Lanier attack. And we only started with one hop hit, bro. Not like this. Um Bro. Oh boy. This is uh This is stressful. Might as well just double Trumby. I'm not gonna bench hop hit because they might just KO it, you know. There's no point. There's no point about hop hip just yet. Attach and pass. Well, Juniper next turn, try to get two hop hips in play. Because we have Cottony, right? Cottony can KO this. But the Lanier attack is really bad because I didn't put Mr. Mime in the deck. Which, after this, honestly, we should probably just put a Mime in the deck. Bro, how did I know they were going to remove my energy there? I just knew it, bro. I just knew my energy was getting removed. Just love to see it. Just re research check out our Juniper. Try to get as many hops as we can. There we go. Uh, not bad. Get a few. We could have gotten three hop ups actually, instead of benching the guru, which I probably should have just done, to be honest. But they might just kill my crowbat. So I might actually just get a free double hop up going, which is good. But we'll see. We'll we'll do this because we feed them the crowbats. Like, well, you can take out my crowbat or you can KO my hop ups. Which one do you want? The two prizes or the KO on my hop up? So I think this is fine. Instead, because I was gonna go guru there, and they're just like, well, but they linear me. So we'll let them knock out crowbat if they want. I think this is fine. And then hopefully we go knockout with Cottony. We probably would need choice ban though to make that work, but we'll see. If we get double skip plume off, we can probably kill this Tina Chomp. Take out the Tina Chomp. We should be vibing. Yeah, maybe I should play like a mime in the deck though. I don't know. I don't even know what to take out for the mime though. There's so many cards in this deck that we need. Okay, they got the double dragon. They can kill my crowbat if they want. Rapidash. Dark. Nice. They do fall for the bait. They KO my guy. If we draw a Pokemon here, that would be amazing. Pokemon top deck would be awesome. So I can go with the uh Skip Plume. Juniper it is. Okay. Not bad. Get Jump Pluff in play. We do have, um... We have Dowsing Machine, which we'll have to probably just play. So we'll Dowsing Machine here and get rid of these. Grab a Pokecom. We can draw a few cards. Draw two cards with the Guru. We don't... I mean, at the very least, we can Grass Energy. We don't have to KO them this turn. Like, even just going Jump Bluff is perfectly fine. Just Floral Path. 
Gotta hope my boy Guru comes in clutch too with a supporter next turn. Here we go. Two cards. Cotney. So Cotney doesn't KO them, I'm pretty sure, right? We are doing 80, 120. Yeah, Cotney doesn't KO them. We can just go Natu. Let's just go Natu. Yeah, let's just go with Natu here. Seems good. We'll just two shot them. We can two shot them and jump up too, so it's fine. Let's go Natu. Swing for 120, put some pressure on. We have Stretcher, right? Stretcher and Machine. No, Stretcher is in there. Not Machine. Now's Machine is gone. Yeah, if we got a little bit better with our Trumbeaks, we could have went with the Cotney KO, but this is fine. We can still two shot. I mean, the heal. But we got a whole Guru comes in clutch. Actually, I really want them to put a tool down so I can play the Field Blower. I might have to get rid of my own Float Stone because we probably want to play the Field Blower. They put a Unit Energy on, which or Blend Energy, which unfortunately actually does count for Psychic, which is awkward. We can still try to one-shot Rabidash, though. Yeah, I might have to blow our own Float Stone off if worse comes to worse. Might, yeah, we're going to have to blow her that off. Fine. It is what it is. Then we'll instruct for three. Can we find something here? We are down a few resources, so I'm not too confident, but confidence is key. We can level ball. I'm going to go Trumbeak because we do need another Pokemon Lost Zone. We can save the choice band. Hey, a center lady, bro. Get that out of here. Get that stupid thing out of here. All right, well, Cynthia. What about Crobat if we had a Crobat? Let's see what we get. We got energy. We got Cotney. How much are we doing? We are doing 140. So we have a KO with Jump. So let's take the KO. We can quick ball for another hop if, which is good. Yep, that seems good. Can we get another jump up and play? Lost March. Boom. All right. Perfect. They match another Tina Chomp. We have Cottony, huh? Just saying, bro. They could die. We get three prizes. Trumbeak is an amazing prize. Good prize, too, I guess. The Trumbeak's really good. Nice. All good prizes. Trumbeak is awesome. That lets us do 160 now. I don't think we're going to be able to one-shot the Rapidash, though. Well, actually, no, we might. If we go Trumbeak, we go Trumbeak, we're going to do 160. Muscle Band's 180. Jump plus Skip Loom. Okay, so yeah, we can kill the Rapidash next turn. If we can find our Skip Loom play, we can kill the Rapidash. That's good. Okay. Yeah, they do knock me out with Psychic, unfortunately, but that's fine. I mean, the thing with Lost March is like, the HP is not that high anyways. You can't really expect to ever live a turn. I don't think they have two prizes left. We should, as long as we take a KO each turn, we should be fine. We go Trumbeak. Nope. We have teammates, though, don't we? You. Teammate should win us the game then, right? So we go via Seeker. Any of them wouldn't be bad either, but we can save N for like next turn. So we can go teammates for this. Let me make sure my math's not off. We got <laughs> 160 damage. 180, 200. With the yeah, okay, perfect. Yeah, it's a knockout. A knockout. We're good. What do I want with this? Be a seeker, I guess, so we don't fall behind next turn. Sure. Okay, yeah. Perfect. And then the muscle band will let us take the KO. We're good that we have a jump up in the deck, too. Because we wouldn't have well, I guess we could have gone DC with Cotney, so it wouldn't have mattered, actually. We still had a way to attack him. I was just making sure. Retreat. We could bench the Cotney. We can draw a card with instruct. Then we just lost march. Perfect nap. Nice. The math was on are there. And I think we do have another jump ups and skip loom prized. There we go. So wait, our last prize is Jump Bluff, right? One, two, no. Okay, but we can still do Skip Loom next turn and get a bunch of things going. All right, this is good. Evio Light's not going to save him at all. They don't even have an attack this turn, so it looks like we're just going to walk away with a nice, clean dub with Lost March. Things got a little hair with that Giratina. I honestly, we should maybe play a Mime in the deck just for that bench protection. I think I should put it in. You never know what we'll run into. I probably would just, put, I should just put the Mime in here just to have that bench protection. I honestly, you don't know what to expect in Expanded. I don't know what to cut though. I don't even know what I want to cut, though. Ooh. That's annoying. Lodestone is still in there. I do remember seeing it. And we're... Well, we're guaranteed to draw it, I'm pretty sure, right? It's in the deck, yeah. Yeah, we just go Juniper. Juniper guarantees it. All right, that's game. We'll take it. Yeah, we had DC too. Doesn't even matter. Lost March. Ooh, it lagged, bro. It lagged. And there's the KO. What's our last prize? Stretcher. Ooh. 
I didn't, I didn't even realize. But yeah, Stretcher would have let us go with the, another skip limb jump up play. Definitely should put a mime in here. All right, into another match. We've won the coin flip. I added the mime into the deck in case we want to do another bench sniping deck. Okay, that was a great start. Good thing we're multi. <laughs> Hopefully we can actually get some multiple basics down. That's what I'm hoping for is we can get like more than just one basic in play. Um, okay, it's not terrible, I guess. You can crowbat. Let's see what we're playing against here. Oh, the mulligan twice. What are we playing against? Blissey. Uh-oh, Blissey's not good. Okay, we'll play this. Hey, we hit a supporter. Feels good. Level ball. We have Crobat? If not, we'll grab Lele. No, we have Crobat. Do I grab Crobat? I, I, bro, I don't even think I trust Crobat. I, I'm just going to wait till Lele, because then we can maybe draw another Pokemon and do Skip Loom. Yeah, we'll just wait to get Lele. Fine. I don't trust my draws. So, I don't know. I'm not. I don't trust Crobat. I'm not gonna bother. Crobat what gets me three cards? Not even worth it. They are Weldering to the Blissey. Oh no. They actually could KO me with Blissful Blast. Do they have a switch? No. Good. Okay. Zacian's actually annoying because it does take a hit because they're resistance to grass. Jazz Machine's pretty good. Play that here. With the level ball for the Lele. Anyways, go level ball. We're gonna try to hit with Natu this turn. Then we'll calm for the Tapu Lele. We could end them. They have a massive hand. Could also Juniper. We'll flow a path. Price two of our jump bluffs. Yikes. Could play Gladian in this deck, maybe. Yeah, we'll end them. They have a huge hand. Might as well. I'm hoping we can hit them decently hard. Maybe we could just find Lele, but then we lose two prizes. We got Cottony. I want to just go Cottony here. Unfortunately, we didn't get any more skip blooms, but I just go Cottony, I guess, and just kind of swing for now. It's not great. The Blissey's a little scared. They play any healing. Would I like to see more Trumpeaks too? I want to end them again next turn. Hope for the best. I'm hoping we can kill the Zacian. It's going to be hard to kill with Jump Up, though. We could go Lele, which they got three energy on. No, that's not going to kill them. Blissey, on the other hand, yo, that thing builds up energy. We could actually kill that with Tapu Lele. That could be our, like, we don't have Stretcher or Dazzle Machine, so we only got one use out of a Lele. But Lele could kill Blissey at some point. <sighs> Never mind. But we should be able to kill the Zacian. That's unfortunate. The Lele kill on the Blissey would have been actually kind of hilarious, but that sucks. That would have been hilarious to actually do that. That would have been pretty funny. Now we have to kill the Zacian with this guy, so we'll see if we get there. Guru's pretty good. And them to four. And I'm hoping we can find uh, Trumbeaks and level balls and you know, cards we play in the deck. No, what? Bro, not like this. Oh boy. That's not good. No, sorry. I don't know where my boys are at. Lost March, baby. La weapon 60 damage. Nice. They have 100 HP. We should be able to kill them next turn. They might not be able to attack me. They're probably going to retreat into Blissey here and kill me with Blissful Blast. This is why I really wanted to keep the Tapu Lele in play. If that Blissey builds up so much energy, like, a Lele knock would have been so funny. It would have been, like, the best thing ever. Maybe they don't knock me out? No, they're definitely going to go Blissey. They, if they jump, if they Intrepid Sword, that's actually really good for us. Okay, they are doing it. I'm surprised they didn't go Blissey. Uh, yeah, I don't know why they didn't go Blissey. This is fine, then. Bloom, Trumpy. No. I'm going to burn this. No, Chorus. All right. We get some more Lost Marchers. We do. Perfect. Can do floral path again we did prize some jump love so i'm hoping to get one off the prizes here they have 100 hp that's 100 damage yeah that's not good we'll do trumbeak luke metal that might be a problem the luke metal actually is kind of scary especially with the blissey they can take a hit do another trumbeak just put everything just get the damage racking up as soon as possible and let's kill them with cottony here boom nice big kale big kale the Blissey's still kind of scary, but we'll see. There's Jump Bluff, so we can get another thing. Double Jump Bluff? Double Jump Bluff? Now we can go... Well, I don't even... We might have... Did we prize the Skip Loom? I can't remember. But yeah, now we can go with the Jump Bluff play. That seems good. We'll see what they do here. They do go Blissey. Now, they could Luke Metal me here, which wouldn't be bad for my opponent. Oh, they're actually going to go for it. it really? I guess they would have removed my energy anyways with full metal wall. No, they're going Blissey. What was the point of playing the Flare Ground then? 
I guess they don't really ever need it, to be fair. Oh, if only we had Tapu Lele, bro. This Blissey would get cooked. Oh, my God. That sucks, bro. All right, we can still two-shot. It's not that bad. Can we draw? Unifer? Um... Bench this. Could end them to three. I'm gonna chorus. I need to set up jump love, so I'm gonna go chorus. We have all our drum beaks in there? We got one left. All right, let's just do chorus and try to draw up what we're looking for. Okay, we got skip plume. We have one jump up in the deck, so that's cool. We didn't draw a double. That's good. We can hit a little bit harder here. We'll just end him next turn, right? We'll lost march here for 180. As long as they don't heal too much damage, we should be able to cook this thing next turn and knock it out. And then we just gotta take out their Zacian to win the game. Or Luke Metal. Again, that early... Again, that KO on my Lele really sucks, though. Not gonna lie. They could Full Metal Wami this turn, which I don't think is really that good. Do we have Guzman there? We don't. No. Let's find Guzman next turn. Yeah, they're gonna Blissey Blast. Nice. So we can kill the Blissey. I just really wish we had Lele. It would just been so funny. I know I keep saying that, but just imagine we had Lele right now. All right. We do want to end, I think. Match. Be a Seeker. And... We bench another hop it. We have Crobat still. Okay. And them. The big thing is we have to reach a KO on the Zacian next turn, right? So that's our game plan. We got DC. They can get there. We got the jump up, though. Mm. Anyways, take a knockout. Lost March. We just need to KO their Zacian next turn if we can. That's the goal. Let's take our prizes here. Be a Seeker. K. Rambik's good. Well, we have to kill the Zacian. Well, actually, they can't take a prize this turn. Steel Fist actually does 50. I mean, they can pull them out of wall me. Then I just retreat into Cotton or Jump Luff again and just knock them out. Or hit them, not knock them out, sorry. Yeah, they can't kill my Jump Luff unless they actually... If I end them into a Muscle Man, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. That'd be hilarious. We could two-shot the Luke Metal. Let me Via Seeker for Chorus again. Just keep digging and trying to find the Guzma. Okay, so they do full metal wall. That's fine. They don't even damage me. So a long way to go to knock me out. Let's go, Trumpy. Rip a supporter. Oh, let's go, Blacksmith. What? Okay, I... Sure. Go, Jump Luff. No Chorus. It's nice to hit a supporter. Anyways, let's see what Chorus gets us. No Guzma yet. But we did get the other Jump Luff in play. All right, that's good. Now our damage is really racking up. This is good. I think the Z yeah, Zacian would have went down here if we had Guzma. Do we have it in the deck? It's in there, yeah. Guzma's in there. Oh, I could have oh, I could have played the Poke Combat in my hand down. That's fine. They can't really hide. Right. Oh no, we don't want Oh no, we have the muscle band. I was like, oh we don't want shot with full metal wall, but no, we have the muscle band. Never mind. Yeah, the Zacian still would have fell. It's all good. Let's see what they got. Again, jump up takes a hit. That's why I went jump up, not cottony, because it takes a hit from Steel Fist, obviously. So we'll see if they have a boss. They can't win this turn. So this should just be game over. Yeah, they're going to retreat to Zacian, which is fine. We still kill them with the Muscle Band. Unless they have a Field Blower or a Faba here. They have a Ball. Okay, they kill... They, well, Natu doesn't die. Well, I guess Natu's stuck now, but... Uh, we still have Energy in the deck. Right, we're going to draw Energy, right? No. But we can do... Guzma, finally. We have three Energy and a Guzma. But we're just... Pretty, pretty sure we're just guaranteed to win, right? We go here, struck for two. We just need a Guzma Energy to win the game. That guarantees this game, right? We just retreat. Beautiful. And there we go. There we go. Uh, Lost March beats... Um, Lost March beats Blissey, Zacian, Luke Metal. I do get the Luke Metal. Some Blissey list and Expanded do play the Luke Metal for that damage reduction, which is really good for my opponent. But it was a bit of an uphill battle for sure. I really want to use Tapu Lele, but we'll take it. All right, into another match here. We'll see how this game goes. I'm hoping we can, you know, maybe get like a bunch of hop pips down in our first turn. Um... Okay, it's not bad. We'll open Natu. We could get donked, but as you see, we will start with three Hoppips here, which is awesome. Let's see what we're playing against. Ooh, a Pidgey. Okay, that's good. We can save a level ball or a jump. Ooh, we have all the Hoppips in the deck. We could just go quad Hoppip here instead of going... Because I could save a level ball for a Skip Loom next turn. You know what? Quad, quad Jump Luff is insanely good if we can get this going very quickly. So we're going to go for the... We're going to go for it. Because if we can do that, bro, that's a lot of damage on turn one. So we're going for it, bro. We're going for it. That's that's the start. That's the start you want to see with Lost March. Like, 
getting four pop pips in my I love to see it. Flannery. Okay, they're playing ADP. Oh, we don't have room for Cottony. Uh oh. ADP Pidgeotto, bro, the best deck. No Cottony room might make things weird. But if we can knock out the Pidgey, we knock out the ADP, then we can just take one more prize to win the game. Hopefully, they don't get an altercation on me this turn. Again, we did bench lock ourselves, so we are unable to bench a Cottony to KO them, which really sucks. In fact, if we had Cottony instead of Natu, we would have popped off from the ADP. But they got the Goose Mahala. Oh no. But they have double dragons, so all we have to do is just go knock out two dragons with with uh, what's his face. Well, they might actually linear attack me. We just gotta take out through the Cottony. They might actually take a linear attack knockout. And if they do that, hopefully they kill Natu. Now it's even better. We got the Quad Hop it. I don't have Ranger in the deck, so this could get awkward. We can't bench Carbetter to NA. All we have to do is knock out two things, so that should, should just be fine. All right? We just take KO the two things. We should be okay. Get Bloom top deck. DC's good. Oh, chorus, I guess. Seven. Only one skip loom. Uh-oh. That's not good. It's really not good. I'm beat. Ah. We're barely doing any damage to them. That's unfortunate, bro. It's fine. We'll have to try to go... Ani next turn. We can... Do teammates, we could be okay. Still, though, I think we can still win. We just gotta take out the ADP and the Tina Chomp to win the game. We just win in two attacks. Marnie? Mm, Marnie's fine. Yeah, they're gonna play it. If they whiff an energy here, which very well could happen. Big thumbs up for me. I don't know if we're gonna be able to kill the ADP, but that'd still be good. Okay, nice. We got Cottony. Nice. And skip him. Okay, they did get the attack. Ooh, that Lucario does reduce damage. Okay, this is fine. So all we have to do is just knock out ADP, knock out Tina Chomp, we win the game. Straightforward stuff. Can we pull it off in time? I don't know. We didn't put Ranger in the deck. I don't even know. Would I even play Ranger in here? I don't know. Because, like, you want to just draw cards and make sure you're doing as many Lost Marches as you can. I'm not even sure I'd play the Ranger. Because, we don't, I don't know. I don't know if I'd play Ranger in here. But maybe we should for the EDP matchup. Those have a Fairy Attacker. I'm not sure it's needed. It might not be bad, though. Okay. Jump Luff. Here we go. We need to kill the ADP with the Skip Bloom. Or not the Skip Bloom. The Trumpy. All right. Trumpy's good. Or with Cottony. Whatever it's called. Well, if we don't KO the ADP this turn, we will lose the games. So it really does come down to this, unfortunately. We will get a really good chorus, though. We are doing enough damage to KO them, right? With what we got, I'm pretty sure. Well, if we saved that, we could have went teammates. Well, chorus, it's all up to you, buddy. We got 100 damage is 200. Oh, we need a, we need a skip loom or a trump beacon and a DC. Nice. Ooh, that was close, actually. If we didn't get Trumbeak, we would not have gotten the KO. Holy crap, that was close. Because we didn't get a single thing off of that. I'm gonna play this. We did, yeah, we didn't get a... We'll grab Crobat, so we can keep the teammates at the bottom of the deck. We didn't get a single Skip Loom off of that. If we didn't get Trumbeak there, we actually would have lost, because we got no Ball Search either to find Skip Loom, right? So that was very close. Tom is a good prize. Heal blower is okay. Super. All right. So all we have to do, guys, is just knock out this Tina Chomp to win the game. Will they? They might Marnie me again. Honestly, we maybe shouldn't have grabbed Crobat with that quick ball because we might get Marnied. Hopefully, also get. If we keep the hand, though, we're okay. So we have to. Cottony will kill them. Cottony will shut the Tina Chomp. In fact, we can teammates here for the win. Mewtwo. That's fine. We have the check with Natu. Oh, we need Stretcher, though. But they can't even go Mewtwo because they have no energy built up. We kind of check their types here. We got the Fairy for the ADP and the TN Drum. Then we got the Natu for the Mewtwo. That's that's one thing about Lost March. Just have a really cool type blend. Nice. A Bruno. That is not a Marnie. And they'll stamp in the expanded format. So we're chilling. We will win here most likely. Unless they somehow take two prizes, which I don't think they can do. But we should win here if all, if all goes well. If all goes well. We should have game. That's the nice thing about Cottony. Fairy Lost Marcher is incredibly useful. It's one of the best things about Lost March is having the fairy type. All right. That's a beautiful top deck. Because now we don't have to... Now we can do... Oh, well, do we have... Make sure we have DC in the deck. Yeah, okay. And, all right. Yeah, that's fine. You just do this. That should be game over, right? Because we can teammates for the win. Boom. There we go. Do this. 
It feels good just to use a little 40 HP fairy Pokemon that could absolutely destroy these monstrous tag team dragons, especially this friggin' thing right here. That's this Cotney. Cotney's the savior. Honestly, I don't, if Cotney was not in this deck, I think. I think I think Lost March and Expanded would honestly suck. I actually think Cotney is what makes this Lost March deck have legs. Because this is just ridiculous, bro. This thing is the savior of this deck, bro. Cotney actually carries Lost March. Having a fairy type mad party or, or Lost Marcher was a genius idea by Pokemon because of how good ADP and Teen Chomp is. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap the day's peace video guys on this deck. I had to pre-record two videos ahead of time because I am going away for a few days, so I'm not able to play the game. But yes, Lost March in expanded, really cool deck. Um, its damage is a little weak. Now, you could try to play, like, the Lost Blender or Molgud version, which I don't know if it's as consistent. Expanded, there's so many things to play in the expanded format that I don't think there's enough room to fit all that in one deck. There's so many things you have to play in this format, so I, I don't think you'd have room for all that. It is something you could consider, though. But anyways, that's it for the video on Lost March and Expanded. Lost March in 2021, not terrible. Still kind of decent. You have still good type coverage. Natu for, like, Mewtwo and Urshifu and Expanded, and then, you know, Jump Fluff, Grass... I don't know. What is grass hidden expanded? I don't even know. But still, you never know. It might come in handy. And then, of course, the fairy typing is also pretty awesome. But that'll wrap everybody, guys, on the deck. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Check out Car Cabin down below. Use code LDF if you get any codes. Check out my Twitch down below. I am streaming a lot more now. So if you guys want to follow me on Twitch, it would be greatly appreciated. I am on the road to getting partnered on Twitch. Uh, check out my socials, my Twitch, my Twitter, my Patreon. I'll see you guys in another PDCGO video tomorrow. Hopefully. That's it. Bye-bye.